One of the images out of our Europeana photography collection I want to talk about today is Lover Slain by John Topham, an image of 1938. John Topham was a famous social documentary photographer who tried to capture a change in Britain. His collections are managed by Top Photo, who provided us with this image. When we show this image, which is part of our traveling exhibition All Our Yesterdays, I'm always struck by the reaction of younger viewers. They all have the same question on their lips. Why on earth is this young couple venturing into this filthy industrial zone for their supposedly romantic walk? Times and perceptions have changed, evidently. While we are very sensitive today to pollution, this was not in the same way the case in the late 30s. Industry meant progress, bread on the table, a steady income, a future for the children, and the power to keep rival nations at bay, which would prove a grim necessity a few years later. My friend John Bellion, who works at Top Photo, did some research and found a print of this image with the caption reading A young couple had for lovers slain, but only find a dead end to the Swanscombe paper mill. 23rd of March 1938 This area of North Kent was in evolution in the era, with upcoming industrialization. In the work of John Topham, covering this area, we find both testimony of a rural world lost, as well as pictures highlighting industrial prowess. So there is some ambiguity in John Topham's choice of the setting. Besides this changed perception of what would be the ideal decorum for a romantic walk, Another aspect would strike today's viewer. The strong gender coding of the depicted couple. Here we have this strong man, bristling with self-confidence, looking in control of things as he oversees the Thames River. His neat suit puts him at the winning end of society. He expresses success and accomplishment. How different is his girlfriend or wife depicted? At best, she's not standing in the way, being a subdued accessory to this powerful scene. Her posture is static, supportive, almost rigid compared to the dynamic body language of her partner. Oh yes, this image is not a contemporary one and puts the scene squarely many decades ago. That doesn't make it anything less than a brilliant photograph. Connoisseurs will point you to the balanced implementation of the rule of thirds, the superb composition, the play with contrast to stand out the main topic. I hope you enjoy the view. You can read more about John Topham and his work on the website of Top Photo or on Wikipedia.